The following video will demonstrate a rules-based check in Salubri Model Checker to ensure that model elements in a building information model have the required non-geometric information to meet a specified level of development based on the AIA document E202. Classification in Salibri is used in order to map elements to a required level of development using CSI Uniformat 2. In this model, an assembly code specifies that Uniformat code. You can see in the classification of Salibri, the first five characters of that code maps to the model elements list from document E202. Selecting on these classifications both isolates and color codes these components based on their Uniformat category. You're also able to expand the classification to zoom to those specific components within the model. Rule sets in Salibri ensure the uniformat information is both defined and valid. The components must have uniformat code rule ensures that all components in the model have a uniformat code mapped to user specified location. By expanding the rule set, we see that a sync within the model doesn't have a uniformat code specified. Therefore, we create a slide for this issue to later create a presentation and a report from. The AIA E202 document uses Uniformat 2 to categorize model elements. There's been a later version of Uniformat developed in 2010, however. The model elements must not be classified using Uniformat 2010 rule, checks to ensure that the codes that are only present in Uniformat 2010 are not attached to components. Here we see a slab that although it has a Uniformat code, that code A4010 only exists in Uniformat 2010. Therefore, this is another issue that should be fixed in the model. Some of the codes can even exist in both Uniformat 2 and Uniformat 2010. For example, the code C1020 in Uniformat 2 is used to specify interior doors. However, in Uniformat 2010, C1020 specifies interior windows. In the result of this rule, we see two doors listed. In the properties, we see that the code was using Uniformat 2010 as the Uniformat description states interior windows. This is another issue that should be resolved in the model. By expanding the requirements for a required LOD rule set, we see a listing of rules for only those model elements contained in the model. If there were additional model elements from the listing of 80 Uniformat types from the E202 document, those rules would also be present. Likewise, by expanding those rules, you'll see that only checks for the required level of development are present. The classification name Required LOD is used to set the required level of development for the specific model elements. By checking the setting of the Required LOD classification, we see that B2030 Exterior Doors has been set to a 200 level of development, which is why we see only checks up to 200 found in the rule set. After setting it to 300, you'll see in the rule set it's automatically reconfiguring itself to check for those additional requirements. Expanding further in the rule set, we find the rule that checks for the required information items. Checking the rule parameters in this example, at level 200, exterior doors should have properties that state the fire rating, whether the door is a fire exit, and the door operation. However, you can add and remove those based on your own project. In the results window, we see issues are categorized by what information is missing or invalid. Here a door is missing its fire rating and fire exit property from the PSET door common property set. By viewing the check properties window, we can see that another door is past this checked and has both of these properties listed. Now that some slides of issues have been created, we can generate a presentation and a report. In the presentation layout, by clicking Add New Presentation and selecting the checking results, we see all the issue slides that we've created. Rather than just images, these are live views that can be changed and resaved. This presentation can be saved to an Excel report to be viewed outside of Salibri. This report includes all the relevant information from the slides that we've created.
Thank you for watching. This concludes this demonstration of level development checking within Solidity Model Checker.